the first capital deduction we are looking at is initial allowance initial it means in the beginning yeah then allowance so initial allowance we have it, it's divided into two we have initial allowance on eligible property and then initial allowance on industrial building yeah so initial allowance on eligible property Initial allowance is a, is a deduction given to a person who places an eligible property. Eligible property, you know that, into service for the first time outside the a radius of 50 kilometers from the boundaries of Kampala during the year of income. So you you have to note that if you if you place eligible property outside a radius of 50 kilometers away from Kampala it is it, it it qualifies for initial allowance if you put it like in Masaka in Arua Lira in Soroti those places that are so far from Kampala they qualify for initial allowance initial allowance is a deduction given to a person who places the, the property has to be eligible into service for the first time even have to note that for the first time outside a radius of 50 kilometers from the boundaries of Kampala during the year of income and the deduction is computed as 50 percent of the cost base of the property if the if the cost of the property is maybe 10 m so the initial allowance will be 50 percent of 10 m which is 5 m so it will become the initial allowance yeah so let's define eligible property eligible property it means any plant and machinery any plant and machinery only used in production of income included in gross income but it excludes it excludes goods and passenger transport vehicles it excludes appliances ordinarily used for household purposes and then office or household furniture fixtures and then fittings so eligible property it is plant and machinery that is used in the production of income but it excludes the goods and passenger transport vehicles. It excludes appliances that are used for household purposes. And then it excludes the office or household furniture and fixtures and fittings. The furniture, fixtures and fittings used for office and then household, they do not qualify to be called eligible property. So this is the definition for eligible property. So the initial allowance on eligible property, we said it is a deduction given to a person who places an eligible property into service for the first time outside a radius of 50 kilometers or 50 kilometers from the boundaries of Kampala during the year of income. And that is initial allowance on eligible property. Then we look at initial allowance on industrial building. Initial allowance deduction allowed to a person who puts into use for the first time during the year of income an industrial building other than an approved commercial building is 20% of the cost of building. So the initial allowance for an industrial building it is 20%. If the cost of the building was 10M, so 20% of 10M becomes the initial allowance, which is 2M. Yeah. So, except a commercial building. A commercial building is not, it is not an industrial building. When it is approved commercial building, it is not an industrial building. Yeah. That is it. Initial allowance deduction. I mean, initial allowance on industrial building, it is a, an allowed deduction to a person who puts into use for the first time during the year of income an industrial building other than 
an approved commercial building and it is 20% of the cost of the building yeah, and this is all about initial allowance we shall look at it more in an example that we shall have yeah and this is all about initial allowance initial allowance on eligible property and then initial allowance on industrial building